Hey everyone, I'm back this week. And what I'd like to talk about is envisioning the invisible. What does that mean? That means making things out of things you see that you pass by, like cracks in the sidewalk or weird blobs in the street or just things that you wouldn't normally notice, using them as inspiration. So I brought a couple artists that do this and I wanna show you what I mean. This is an artist, Steve Loya from Virginia, and he makes little splash monsters. He's an illustrator, so that means he draws pictures for books and magazines and things like that. So every morning when he gets up to get himself going, he makes a splash of paint and then makes it into something. He looks at it and says, oh, those look like little horns on top. Maybe I'll put some balls on there and a little iguana on his head things like that. So he does one of these every morning. This one's called hanging with the possum. Look how he made those splashes into tree branches and then he added leaves. And it looked like maybe a slightly grumpy monster. He added an opossum to cheer him up. And here's a whole collection of them. See how they're all different, all different shapes and colors and some are happy and some are sad, some are angry. Which one's your favorite? I'm not sure, they're all so different and I like them all so much. This would be a fun thing to do. This artist, Carla Sondheim, she's a teacher too. And one of the things she does with her students is make blob monsters. So they go around and they find blobs of things or maybe cracks in the sidewalk and they make them into characters. And then you can make a book out of them or make a story to go with them. Here's some birds that were made out of these weird little shapes. And here's a dino book. So they found a blog and it looked like a dinosaur. So they added that and they made it into a book. And this is American artist, David Zinn. He draws on sidewalks all over. And he just goes out and he looks around and he says, oh, Look at that grass growing out of the crack. It looks like a giant mustache. So he draws this little guy and he leaves it there for people to find. And then it's just chalk. So it gets washed away in the rain. So they're not meant to stay, but they're there for people to discover. Look at this guy made out of the cracks of the foundation. He's really neat. I like how he's going in and out of the different spaces, like his tail sticks out over onto the outside of the building. And this little alien, he's, he's raking up the leaves and so the leaves are really there. And he took this line that goes across the sidewalk and bent it up and drew it with his chalk. And it looks like he's sweeping things under the carpet. So I have a book here called Beautiful Oops. And it talks about making things out of mistakes, out of rips in the paper or spills or splotches and splashes out of crumpled up things and looking at that and imagining something else. And that's what I want you to be thinking about. So here's a sort of a sing-along of the book for you. The paper is just the beginning. Every spill has lots, lots of possibilities. Bent paper is something to celebrate. A little drip of paint lets your imagination run wild. A scrap of paper can be fun to play with. A smudge and a smear can make magic appear. Stain has potential if you play with the shape. Holes in your paper are worth exploring When you think you have made a mistake Think of it as an opportunity To make something beautiful Beautiful oops, beautiful oops Beautiful oops, beautiful oops Oh. 
So we've seen some artists that make things out of blobs and different things. They see sidewalk cracks, cracks in the building, just different shapes and they use them to kind of inspire them and get creative. And that's what I'd like you to do today. So there's a couple different ways you can do this. You can take some paint if you have some paint and just make a blob on some paper. Here's my blob. I haven't created anything with him yet, but he's waiting. Or you could find a crack and you could turn it into something. I found a cool crack on my patio and I turned it into this surfing monster guy I'll show you here. You can see he's kind of surfing on this water and if it's just a wave in the beginning and I showed my son and he said, no, you need to take that wood part there and make it into a pipe where the water is coming out. And that was a really cool idea. So I did that too. Yeah. So you could do that. Look around. If you have some chalk, you can do that on the sidewalk or patio or something like that. Or you can find a crack and you can try to do a rubbing of it. I found this crack in the sidewalk. It was, had these shapes here and here. And I did a rubbing of it and then I turned it into this bat monster. So you could try something like that. And if that doesn't work, you could just do a drawing of a shape and then turn it into something. So we have lots of options this week. And I can't wait to see what you make.